come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> hey, thanks for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast, the movie review and talk show podcast that comes your way every Saturday, whether you're ready for it or not. And you're our quest for total world domination. Dark West, mm-hmm. Dark West. We also want to conquer heaven and hell. That's what we're on a mission to do here. Have and we done? Have we gotten the Earth? We're going up and down now. The gal- the we've already done the galaxy. The Oh shit! Yeah. So oh. now mm-hmm. we have to tackle other planes, you know, okay. and our metaphysical mm-hmm. conquest. I'm down for that. Mm-hmm. And these are the people who are going to do it: the internet radio superstars, Michaela, Holly, Sean, and I'm Colin. And tonight we watched a movie that was chosen by Colin. Colin, what do we watch tonight? Tonight we watched Constantine. <laughs> John yes. Constantine. John Constantine. They call him, that's the sequel. John Constantine. Just cut right? out the middleman and call him Johnstantine, man. Why are we even going with John Constantine? Just jo- I can't believe that's well, I mean, like, real name. Well, I mean, a movie called Constantine, you might think was about, you know, like the historical Constantine. Like, yeah. Constantine. like the Emperor Constantine. Yes. Yeah. From the year. Uh, 2005. Okay. 19, what a like year. Years ago. What man, a year. it really is turning into a year, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 2005. Are we doing a lot from 2005? So it's Happening. House of Wax was just the last yeah. seminal movie mm-hmm. we watched from 2005. Right, it's getting, seminal, getting, wow. getting old. I, we decided it was seminal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess we <laughs> on that podcast. Yeah, it, was yeah. like, uh, uh, it, it was like it was like um, uh, the navel of the 2000s. Like everything just met there. Yeah, right, right, which yes. you can only determine after the fact. When yes. you go yes. back and watch it, you're like, holy Couldn't shit, that's then. the nexus. Yep, it really is. Yeah. Um, directed by uh, Francis Lawrence. This is his first feature film. This is his first feature film? Yeah. He did but, so many afterwards. Yeah, because afterwards, well, the big one that he did that you probably saw it well, he did I Am Legend. Okay. He did I Am Legend. And then I want to say he did, um, isn't there a romantic comedy in there? And then he Water did. Water for Elephants. There you go. Okay. And oh, then he 11. did four oh, of the five Hunger Games movies. Oh, wow. So he's wow. he's into the CGI heavy movies. Yeah. That's what I'm did hearing. Red Sparrow. So he's stuck oh, with Jennifer Oh, no one Lawrence. saw that. I don't think they did. <laughs> I saw it. Did you? Yes. How was it? It was. Uh, he even bland. Yeah. yeah, he even directed Jennifer Lawrence in some Dior commercials and everything. Yeah, he did a lot of commercials, a lot of music. He was a music video director oh, yeah. Beyonce, and commercial. Yeah, he's got everybody covered. Rihanna, I mean, garbage. Lady every Gaga. like, yeah, all of them. You know, wow. uh, he was a music video director, and so that's why you know, obviously, you see a guy doing a hundred million dollar. Well, we figured the budget, according to Wikipedia, yeah. on this is somewhere between seventy and a uh, hundred million. So crazy, bigger than most of the budgets, I guess, that we do on the show. I felt yeah. guilty watching it tonight. I'm like, this is uh, like a big studio movie, yeah, yeah. really is. Yeah, what's Keanu Reeves coming off of on in The Matrix one and two and three, right? Yeah, all three before this, yeah, 1999 was the first one, right? Yeah, so he was the Matrix guy, I think, okay. at this point in his career, and then he did Constantine. Was he in 1403? 1408. 1408. Yeah. Yeah. I was I thought he was in some horror movie right around this time though. The Watcher. Well, Watcher. Yeah, that maybe that's it. We yeah, Watcher yeah. that we did. We did an episode yeah. on there. Nice fall movie Watcher. Yes. <laughs> All right, so this movie stars Keanu Reeves, Keanu Reeves coming off Reeves the off uh, yeah. I mean, more importantly, I guess it's the so, you know, um I was inspired to bring it because uh the last movie that I chose on the show was uh, The Prophecy mm-hmm. and that's kind of what got me thinking about this because that movie has Christopher Walken as the angel Gabriel uh mm-hmm. on earth. This movie has Tilda Swinton mm-hmm. as the angel Gabriel. Why is it always Gabriel? I was going to ask. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what's, what's I'm pointing at Holly right now. <laughs> no, the Archangel like, oh, Gabriel. I'm up. <laughs> yeah. Gabriel is the, is the one who fell from heaven? No. no who fell from Luc- heaven? Lucifer. 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 Yeah. Okay. Gabriel was Lucifer? the Gabriel was like the messenger. He was the one that announced the coming of Jesus. He has the trumpet. Okay. Yeah. Okay. He's the okay. archangel. He's like the messenger. Yeah. yeah. He's like God's PR person. <laughs> okay. So, so he's like an A-list angel. Yeah. 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 Perfect for that. Yeah. 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 Bill Swinton's in this movie. Yeah. Yeah. Is it the Seraphim? Are they like the second fiddle to uh, God? Are they like the highest yeah. rank? Now, see, now we're talking like about that. Things, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. That's not mentioned a, in this. Yeah, the but. Seraphim is a, is a type of angel. So they're supposed to be like like pillars of fire and wings, and they're just supposed ah, to be terrifying. When humans see them. Yeah. Okay. There's so, always a, yeah. What is the purpose of that? And why, 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 why should an angel terrify people? Why shouldn't just the they? the fear of God? No, why, why do they? What, I think yeah. it's because they're seeing, you know, when you see 
yeah. the 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 majesty of God, you know, yeah. it's like it's it blows like your mind. You. It's too much. It's too yeah, much. It's too much. Look away. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, Take your word. I mean, it's God. I mean, you know, yeah. I inspired it. However, there's been a lot of. I've been also watching a bunch of. I mean, this uh, is. I mean, this is all. You know, the Bible is subjective, depending on who you are. That is mm-hmm. very true. Real. It is a That's book compiled. I mean, since we're talking about Constantine, the Bible was compiled under Emperor Constantine mm-hmm. okay, and yeah. a council of men with a very specific agenda right, who sorted yes. through thousands of texts and picked certain ones picked. and yes. made the Bible. This is Holly saying every problem I have with <laughs> yeah. this. It, they picked it. It's someone's interpretation. Yep. Yep. It's like, you guys are not experts. They had an agenda and they put their agenda in a book. And then it was right. translated over hundreds, hundreds of thousands hundreds. of and God, languages oh, Nothing and got lost from yeah. 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 where we are now. No. Yeah. Yeah. The word of God. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so I mean, <sighs> I'd rather read the Devil Bible. Well, no, it's not. <laughs> nothing, it's got nothing on the Quran because there actually is a copy of the Quran in heaven, according to Islam. Okay, I think we're getting into territory. <laughs> well, <laughs> I mean, Gabriel is mentioned in the Quran. Gabriel's yeah, mentioned they in share multiple the... texts. Like honestly, like, Christianity takes all of their stories from other religions. Right. The well, Old that, Testament uh, exists well, in yeah. like every well, religion. That, yeah. That's always yeah. the question I think I have is like, what what is Christianity stealing from, and where is mm. Christianity? They still from everyone. To, I believe yeah, it. Yeah. Gilgamesh, I think the story of Gilgamesh is basically Noah and the flood. And yep. all that. I mean, like, these are sto- mm-hmm. ancient stories, ancient ancient stories, stories yeah. that, I mean, it's interesting why those are the stories that kind of connect and, you know, um, are identifiable as right. like signposts along mm-hmm. like the human condition or whatever. Mm-hmm. But yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, been watching a lot of Exorcist and Exorcism movies. And I was like, why not do the DC Comics one? Mm-hmm. And so that's why we got uh, the DC Comics Exorcist, and that's John Constantine. So yeah. John Constantine, I was first uh, introduced to John Constantine. This is all bringing it back, right? Because there is this formative comic that I read as a child, and it was called Swamp Thing. And <laughs> <laughs> Not where I thought you were going. Yeah. No, does he show up in Swamp Thing? He was created for Swamp Thing. Oh. He was created by Alan Moore. Oh, okay, because nice. okay. Alan Moore, if you don't know who Alan Moore is, he was an author, is an author who basically, in some ways, legitimized comic mm. books as actual, like, literary. For um, adults. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, and he did a run. He had done Miracle Man prior to this, but I think like he was then hired to do Swamp Thing. Mm-hmm. And he did this run of the saga of the Swamp Thing, which was like Swamp Thing kind of finding out who, because Swamp Thing was created as like a Frankenstein kind of creature, right? Mm-hmm. We saw the movie. It's mm-hmm. like he was a man. He got doused with a chemical. He turned into a plant. <laughs> But when you say it that way, <laughs> yeah. right, a plant man. But Alan Moore <laughs> like into a plant. re-engineered it and basically said like, no, there is no man there. Like you're the human is gone, and you know you're a plant who thinks you're a man. And so then mm-hmm. that kind of unlocked like, uh, you know this like godlike creature the swamp that's thing all of us we're just things that think we're men that's but, true uh, oh see nope. there you go. Oh, so, what is it, so is each of our thing a journey to discover what we are yeah it's yes man. yeah, yeah. So okay. that's why yeah, Swamp that. Thing yeah. is such a this crucial text. Did we just answer the question the- of why? <laughs> yeah, I think so. I think Tonight so. here on Constantine? Yeah. Yep. <gasps> well, he also used that, I think we said before. Be um, when he did. <laughs> what, did we do an Alan Moore thing before we talked about him? On something that we did. We yeah, didn't we do did From Hell or V for Vendetta, yeah. but um, Swamp Thing, I think, was a dry run for uh, Dr. Manhattan yes. in Watchmen. Yes. And that's basically the thing that Alan Moore is known for. Mm-hmm. Uh, Alan Moore is also known for not taking any credit on any feature film stuff. Mm-hmm. That I thought you were going to say not for not taking any, any crap, crap from yeah. anybody. <laughs> I also He's think a weird he guy. Have you, yeah. have you seen yeah. what he looks like? He looks like a wizard. Yeah, he does. Like he, he dresses does, yes. like a wizard. He looks like a wizard. He thinks yeah. he's a wizard. Yep. Like oh, for real, yeah. he's yeah. a magician. Yeah. Um, he writes some great stuff, though. He writes some great yeah. stuff. And he created John Constantine. Now, John Constantine in the comics was basically uh, a guy who was kind of helping Swamp Thing along this journey of discovery. He'd show up at a different point, you know, whatever. Yeah, sure, yeah. And he looked like uh, Not Sting. Not Reeves. No, he looked like Sting. <laughs> yes. I think intentionally, this okay. is the uh, the artist, Stephen Bissett, was the guy who designed the uh, the look of Constantine. 
And when I say Sting, you kids out there, I'm not talking about the wrestler. No. Right? I'm talking about the, the singer. You're talking about the original Fade Rasta from But Dune. that's a great question. When I say Sting, what comes to your head? And yeah. I'd love to hear just people's reactions to that. Yeah. yeah so I want to cover all bases there. We're talking about the recording the artist. Yes. Um, the police, yeah, from the police, yeah. and he in a in a yellow trench coat, and that right. is John Constantine, blonde hair, uh, the tan trench coat, yes. tie, black tie, and Smoking. he's from Liverpool. Uh. He's very British. Right. This could not be more different than what we saw on the screen. Right. Yes. So how did we get from there to, uh, or what do we think of the interpretation? I guess is the story that we're gonna we're gonna go into on uh, uh, when we watch tonight's movie. Um, but yeah, I mean Constantine. Has since, um, you know, I think they tried to make a franchise movie here. And then yep. uh, there was eventually, there was an NBC uh, mm-hmm. television show. There was. What was the guy like who they cast in that? I don't remember his name, but there was an actor who kind of embodied good. what the comic book fans thought yep. John Constantine was. I don't remember this I think at all. he showed up in yeah. a few CW shows first. Yeah, because that was like a huge thing. Yeah. Like, Matt, Matt Ryan? Matt Ryan. Yeah. He was on this NBC show. And then when they started doing like the Flash Ooh, and the posters, very 2014 for this TV show. Yeah. And then when they started doing the Flash and, and Arrow yeah. and stuff like that from the CW, yep. they ended up yeah, that's the closer to the very comic 2014. Book. Yeah. 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 But then they re- they rehired this guy to yeah. play the character again, and so then he became kind of part of the CW Arrowverse. Yes. Uh, yeah. He was like the Constantine okay. from that. Yep. And then this guy, Matt, um, Matt Ryan, has done the voice because now John Constantine is part of like Justice generic... League Dark and right. all this other stuff. <laughs> right. So he's a magician. Constantine. I mean, they're basically going after the same, the idea of the character in the movie. What is he? How does he make a living? Uh, I mean, you, is, is, is it's sending exorcism. demons back yeah, to hell? It's very supernatural. Like, yeah, well, at the very beginning of the movie, like after he exercises that demon, is he like, where's the scratch? Give me some money for this. No. Like, well, how does know, he make money? Like, is he just living in this kind of group of people and they all support it's like each other? The, it's like the Winchesters, like from oh, Supernatural. Like, it's the same concept. How do they make money? Yeah, I was going to say, that makes no they sense just, to me. They just fraud. Fraud. Oh. They just, <laughs> yeah, they just okay. steal. Oh, they steal. Well, they steal from the bad guys. Or yeah, they, they. Yeah, right, they, right. they make you get up the resources. You kill yeah. the bad guy. And you take. Yeah, the they resources. make up like fake identities and stuff and scam like rich people. <laughs> Are we supposed to believe that Constantine? This is like nobody cares about this. Who's seen the movie? Is he poor? Like he's just living above the. He's like a, a tramp. Two hundred dollars shirt. Uh, I don't think he's poor. He right. mentions later on. Well, like two hundred dollars shirt, asshole. Because see here I, the, on this watch, I was curious about this question. So mm-hmm. I'm like, how does John? What does he do for a living? And yeah. How does he make his money? Yeah. So I paid attention to the dialogue, <laughs> uh-huh. and it turns out that. Because of his gift, he tracked down a bunch of relics, uh, religious relics, and he sold those to Papa Midnight. And that room that Papa Midnight has, I think, is all the shit that John Constantine and others have sold to him over the years. So he's he's rich. Oh, he did mention that, selling relics. (laughs) Yeah, he does. Then he's like, I left that game behind and whatever. So he deals in antiquities. Yes. Yes. (laughs) But like (laughs) on a part-time level. (laughs) Yeah. If you ever meet anybody that says they deal in antiquities, question them thoroughly. Become their friend. (laughs) Don't question them. Become their friend. (laughs) Either or, because you're going to find some shit out. I have a feeling. you don't want to ask questions. Why not? Where they came from or how they got it. Don't you know, ask questions. There's definitely curses like attached LaBeouf. to all that yeah. stuff. <laughs> no, if you go down that, well, there's people trading some, some weird, yeah, stuff on the. Mm. Like, how did you get this? Because you would have to be like in a morgue somewhere, mm. if you know what I'm saying. In order to get the elephant man's bones. Yeah. Yep. Um, from bare naked ladies. From bare naked ladies. <laughs> Thank you. So Keanu Reeves is the unlikely John Constantine, very American. This very takes American. place in Los Angeles. His trench coat's not even tan. No, it's like black. There, there's so they, many. They put the 2005 emo filter on him because yeah, it fits with like, this we time. We couldn't just yeah. change out the color of the trench coat. The mm-hmm. priest friend wears the right trench coat. Mm-hmm. But why doesn't he? I don't. I know. Certain mm-hmm. things stylistically, I'm just like. <sighs> yeah, I mean, it is a look. I mean, I guess, sure. but it's, it's very, you know, like you said, it's like generic. neo. It, you know, you're yeah, reading it does. Neo yeah. Into Business that. casual Neo, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. like Men in Black. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I forgot to mention, now that I'm looking at it, you know, it's like the title's Constantine. His comic, though, because he was, you know, and so after Swamp Thing, he was spo- it was Hellblazer. Yeah. And mm-hmm. even Hellblazer was not the original title, right? They wanted to call it Hellraiser because that's basically what he is. Right. He's an, he was an English Hellraiser, right? 
Uh, can't do that. Can't yeah. do that because <laughs> I think it was actually it was like 86, 87 when the comic came out. And it was right around the right time the that time, yeah. uh, Hellraiser, the movie, came out. So they said, well, Hellblazer. Mm -hmm. And then apparently they didn't want to use that for the title for the movie because even Hellblazer sounds too much like mm -hmm. Hellraiser. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Keanu Reeves. Yes. What are our thoughts on the acting of Keanu Reeves? I'm curious. Well, I mean, like anything, it's dependent it, on sure. where that's directed, right? Right. But if you had to average it, like... I, think, well, what do you think? I think I've been on record on the show before saying I think it's not good. And I think he's I mostly think I not good. I agree that he's mostly not good. I think he gets by on having a fan base that just thinks he's the most charming man in the world. And that's he coasts on that for his whole career. I think career. so, too. It's but I wild. also don't know what... Like, we, I think maybe we have to go back to figure out why do they think he think he's that way. I don't get it. I, think I don't get it. I, I think he works in speed... Oh, there, okay. There are a few and things he doesn't work in. Speed, great. Speed, he, he works. He works. He works. Bill and Ted. So, I mean, I remember thinking that he was, uh, you How know. How far can you coast on Bill but and Ted? Yeah. Even, far, even yeah. if you look at. I'm not like, charmed by Bill and Ted as a lot of people are. Mm -hmm. No, but it was, he was yeah. like, it was kind of endearing, I guess. He was the kind of stoner. Yeah. You know, no, I get ball. it. And yeah. the, even if you look at like Point Break, he's still kind of doing that. Yeah, sure, but that, it's like even a tr then, point break was like, like his transition. You, yeah, but how do you yeah. get, like keep going off of that shit? Yeah. You gotta have people that I feel like love he you. turns in the same performance for everything, no matter what the it, role that's is. That's what it like, feels like then to that's, me. Like to me, that's the opposite of a good actor. Right. Like I got nothing know? against the guy, yeah. but I think it's that. It yeah. feels very similar every time I see him on screen. Mm -hmm. You're telling me he doesn't have range? The man who played? No, tell you he does not have range. The man who played Little Buddha? Yeah, that movie. That's a movie that should be forgotten. What, what was that for? Exactly. Well, there yeah, you go. Should, it. <laughs> just look up the poster real quick and tell Buddha? me. Yes. Little Buddha. Yes. Right. Yeah, look well, Keanu Reeves had a period of time where he, I think he was trying to stretch out, you know, and didn't want to be Bill and Ted. Or mm -hmm. He was Ted? I he I've never seen He's those Ted. movies. He's Ted. Yeah. Thank you. Ted Theodore. He should be Bill. <laughs> okay. <Ted> Theodore Logan, <laughs> Logan and Bill S. Preston Esquire. <laughs> Come on. Um... But yeah, there's a there's a really good movie they did back then, The River's Edge. Uh, but yeah. that's oh, yeah, kind of yes. that, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, doofus. You know, mm -hmm. but it's serious. Yeah. Um, then Speed, I think, mm -hmm. was probably the movie that yeah. gave and him he did like those like romance movies, like the Lake House, the, Lake in the House, like Lake House, Walk in the Clouds. He did mm -hmm. those, like, yeah, which movies. same kind of performance turned in in those movies. What the I do. fuck is that? <laughs> that is Little I, Buddha. That is Little Buddha. <laughs> that is Keanu Reeves in brown face. Yeah, playing. An Indian individual, yeah. yeah, yeah, that happened. That's horrible. Yeah. I do have mad props for him though for refusing to do a Marvel movie, but agreed to do three SpongeBob movies. <laughs> I thought he was doing Moon Knight, and then it turned out that um, uh, what's it's Oscar his, Isaac? Uh, yeah, yeah, Oscar yeah. Isaac was. Yeah. But I remember hearing in the trades that you know, and they were always talking about doing another sequel to Constantine. Yeah. Um, this movie, what did we say, seven, between 70 and 100 and made like 230 or something like that. Mm -hmm. So I never quite uh, made it. Um, seems like we're talking about the end of it. What's the movie about? What's happening in Constantine? What's the dramatic engine that gets this going? And I will tell you that it is a loose, loose adaptation of a storyline from some of the Hellblazer comics. So oh, yeah, they did all, go all to that loose. source. Yeah. Um, uh, John Constantine is an exorcist. Uh, who comes in for extreme situations. At least that's how we're introduced to him. Um, what is the beginning? A, a, a young girl gets possessed by a demon. Um, and a very, I, I thought it was a very cool scene, a shocking scene. The mother's making like tea, coffee. Mm -hmm. She goes to bring it into the room. She opens the door a little bit. And she's like, ah! And then you just see her like through the crack of the door crawling on the wall. That was very cool. good. Yeah. Yeah, I liked yeah. it. Very cool uh, introduction. It's very exorcist. Yes. Yeah. Or Is just it? accustomed seeing demons yeah. for some reason, defying yeah. gravity and crawling around. Yeah, it's always exorcist. I mean, because they, yeah. they did it. And then they got, you know, things, things coming out of their stomach. The, yeah. You know. Honestly, there's a few parts in this that I'm like, you know, that's better than our. Than I thought it was going to be. Because <laughs> I haven't seen this in a really long time. Yeah, I've seen this. Are you saying, yeah. so let me pin you down on that. Are you saying the idea was clever or the execution, the budget, they had the money to do it and it was like, bro, that's better than, than I thought it would be. Five. I'm surprisingly not offended at all by any of like the the cgi any of like it all yeah works like there, there's movie. parts where i'm like oh that's dated but it's not offensive no but yeah. it's also yeah. like it works still like yeah. you, they go to you know uh, anything will be dated but they go to hell there's a lot of it feels very music video-y 
I mean, based on the director and everything. It does, got. especially for the time. Right. It's, but this is this, style. well, I mean, uh, sp- speaking specifically about its interpretation of hell, mm. <clears throat> what, uh, what, what do we it's see? It's effective. There? I think so. What the, is it? The nuclear wasteland. Yeah. Yeah. You're like it, in the center of a nuclear blast. It's forever. Right. Wind, We're, heat, yeah. radiation, but all like that. all right. of the souls are damned like underground. Yeah, um, from that. Yeah, hell's hell. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, maybe it's they like can't a, survive on the surface for too long or something. Is that what it is? Because the nuclear I mean, winds are. It's, it's like it, the. But Terminator. they're but they're all just like crawling on top of crabs in a bucket. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. it's horrifying. I'm gonna get the little cra- literal crab later. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. it's like yeah. the Terminator nuclear blast, mm-hmm. but forever. Yeah, mm-hmm. but basically, it's also, um, and I think. Um, Stranger Things kind of uh, uh, did something similar later yeah. with the upside down. It's the idea that hell is overlaid on the earth. Right. You know, it's not like exists. a different, you know, yeah. place that you right. go to. It's like, it's like a dungeon and yeah. catacombs yeah. and shit like that. No, it's just where, what we're used to. Everything is, it's horrible. all planes. It's all dimensions and planes. Yeah. yeah. So the building that yeah. we're in right now exists in hell. Yeah. Uh, just the burned out version of it and so is theoretically hell us down there doing yeah a hell podcast right now yeah probably <laughs> or there's also the heaven version we don't get to see in the movie i would assume exists in the same place yeah. where they all share the same like are we like number one on all the charts on the <laughs> heaven pod are we the heaven pod I, are we, if the we're listeners not, will never know that's what we're out to <laughs> yeah. to do we're setting out to do that especially with tonight's show we want to be on closely, all, all three uh, of dear braille you can hear the demon winds <laughs> 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 there's there's a lot of demon wind in this a lot of demon wind yeah i like it I like how the demons are uh, uh, in their uh, natural form, basically headless, half a head. Yeah, it's a cool like look. From the nose, uh, mm-hmm. from the nose up, is pretty much gone. It's a good look. Yeah, mm-hmm. is that just to say that? I mean, he says they're soldier demons, but that gives right. them like an ant, like or insect kind mm-hmm. of idea mm-hmm. that they they're brainless. Yeah, yes. right? yeah, they're drones. They're just kind of working. Yeah, it's like a literal interpretation. They're brainless. They're just ants. Yeah. They're just. How do you get to hell? A couple of ways. How do you, I you didn't fully understand this. How do you get to hell? That's How a great you question. Should practice. <laughs> That's a joke. You got to put your feet in a bucket of water. It's like, for yeah, cats. what reason? Cats will get you to hell. Yeah, there's, yeah, you cats can, are the portal to hell. I love, I love that. Cats. Yeah, yeah. You can kill yourself. Okay. That's, that's, a, that's a way to go. Numero uno, top of the list right there. <laughs> that's a way to go. Well, you can stare into a cat's eyes with your feet in a bucket. <laughs> Which I, I Not the explanation Trying for this. this later. <laughs> yeah. I feel, did I miss something here? Did they explain why you have to hold a cat? He, was, he just, all he did was when she had a cat, he's like, cats are good. They're half in, half out anyway. Well, what was his plan? Stairs, right? What was his plan if she didn't have a cat? He seemed surprised that she had one. He's like, oh, this will work. Then he like, probably more gonna, so what he did later. Yeah. 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 Then you got to electrocute. Then you okay. actually have to die. But with a cat, somehow just staring at a cat's no face, sense. you can will yourself into I just, hell. I just want to confirm because I have the exact same cat as in this movie. Mm-hmm. I, You're going to try I, it I, I frequently stare into his eyes. <laughs> and Don't do it too long. With your feet in a bucket? Yeah. I mean, sometimes. Because water <laughs> lubricates the transition, as right. we're told in the okay, movie. So, yeah. Do you, yeah. Do you ever, <laughs> like, uh, that means something. <laughs> do you ever wake up with Jay staring at you near a bucket that he's brought into the room? Has this ever happened? Is he trying to take you to hell? That's what I'm asking. Well, he tries to take me to hell daily. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's go. for damn sure. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, Actually, I think I ju- I'm just in hell all the time. <laughs> I think I've never left. <laughs> well, <all right>, well, <laughs> I mean, you are underground right now, so. So yeah, um, take it back. I can confirm yeah, this you, is true. What do you see right now? Okay, but I, theologically <laughs> then, right, I have a, a question with something. Should I even be questioning this in this movie? Who knows? Yeah. Um, Rachel Weiss is in this movie. Rachel yes. Weiss. She, and she Weiss. plays a um, police detective whose twin sister has committed suicide at the beginning of the movie and kind of sets uh, the B plot in motion. Mm-hmm. At some point, she wants to go to hell, I think, to see if her sister is there. Yeah. And so uh, Constantine drowns her in a bathtub. Truly. And she goes to hell. Now, why did she go to hell? He says I'm looking at, at Don't Holly. know. Yeah. I, 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 <laughs> Holly's our, our hell expert. <laughs> <laughs> is it because I've been in chicken wire hell? Yeah, because no. you've been in that chicken wire the, hell. That's the major weird. reason why we're asking <laughs> So she wasn't going to heaven, I guess, by the, you know. Like yeah, I was very confused by this part. Okay. I was like, did he uh, say anything when he was doing this? Is nope. it because Constantine himself did it? Like he has that special band? No, he's he just have, like, you want to check it out? I can help you out with that. And then he drowns her in a bathtub. There is really nothing else to it, is there? No. 
I mean, <sighs> she dies. She goes to hell. But like yeah. for, a, but not not in a way where she's got to be brought back. You know what I mean? Mm. It is. It's like that thin. It's that thin boundary. That couple like, seconds where you you're still alive, but you get there. Is you know it because I mean? I mean earlier in the movie she says that she's um, shot people on the job? Is it because she's killed people? Mm. Oh, yeah, maybe. but they were all bad. Is is that in the Bible? If you're a cop, you can kill people, <laughs> right? Doesn't mean it was justified. Just yeah. Well, they do someone. an eye for an eye. Yeah. Wait, yeah. no, that's not in the Bible, is it? No, turn okay. the other cheek. Yeah. Okay. Just saying. Maybe. <laughs> Who knows? So they mentioned it earlier, and I was like, like, <laughs> I was like, it didn't really come back. Then when they mentioned that earlier in the movie, so I'm like, maybe that was the implication that like, oh, she's killed people, so that's why she goes to hell. I, don't mm. I wonder. I don't, we don't know if they're justified, justified or not. It but, doesn't. But, but, but like, that's what I'm the Bible doesn't like, say it doesn't anything matter. about killing is wrong. Justified murder. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, you're fine. Like yeah. nobody just shrugs that one off. There's no like Romans three eighteen says if you're a cop, it's fine. Yeah. Like that doesn't. That's not. There's gotta be something. Some people are people are put to death. Be something right in the. We got to brush up on our on our. I'm religion. sure people nah. that actually know the Bible are just like punching their steering probably, wheel right yeah. now. I'm listening sure, to there's got to be something in there about <laughs> along. Those I don't lines. think they put loopholes in the Bible. I think that's kind of defeats I the point. You're God's wrong. killing people all the time. <laughs> uh, I yeah. think you're very wrong. But not for the plebs like us. I don't think the loopholes apply to us. No, no. 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 Somebody the in loop, power. Yeah. Somebody the loopholes. Yeah. The loopholes are more for like beating your slave and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. There you go. So, um, so don't come at me. Speaking <laughs> of, of the Bible and the greater uh, uh, philosophical uh, implications, the movie actually starts out with a scene in which, well, we're told mm. at the beginning that the spear of destiny has yes. been lost during World War II. I didn't know that the Nazis found it. I don't know. Whatever. Who knows? Did they? I don't know this. I know Hitler was after occult uh, objects because I saw Indiana Jones and the <laughs> uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark. So, the spear of destiny is the spear that pierced Christ's side while he was on the cross yes. and killed him Correct. and still has a little bit of his blood on it. Yes. And this Mexican guy in, well, it says it's in Mexico. It says it's Mexico, yeah. He finds it and becomes possessed by presumably a demonic force yeah. and starts walking his yes. way to Los Angeles. And this is the big, this is actually what's, what's going on in the movie. Yeah. We're waiting for him to get to Los Angeles. Cause when he gets there, Oh shit, it's going to go down. Yeah. And I like that this is a, like a prominent part of the story, but he's just the scavenger. Yeah. Like he's in, his, in the credits. Yeah. Scavenger. scavenger. Yeah. yeah. So, because we see, like, as he crosses the border fence, like, all the the cows just drop dead in front of him. You know, right. he has you, power. He gets hit by a car. You want, yeah, you demolishes the car. What, you, uh, you wonder why? Like, what? What is the? Is there just evil in this spear? Is there? I mean, I know it killed Christ, so there's you know something to that. But well, I, think I was trying to figure this the, out. The that, major, that about sums it up, right? <laughs> so because because it. Killed Christ, it is looked at as an evil artifact. I yeah. Would, okay. Maybe. I'll but it's like a super, super evil. I don't know, but I, uh, in the, in within, I know in the movie they think that is, is that within uh, religion, how is it viewed? I wonder. I mean, there's no supernatural element talked about with the spear well, in the bible uh, right I believe just, this also comes into effect in uh in uh, uh what not incarnate or what was the immaculate the new mm, yeah. Sydney uh, um i yeah immaculate <laughs> stole a few things from this movie like I'm, straight up stole i'm hoping it's the cross gun that shoots dragon no fire. but damn the the idea that there is blood on a spear belonging to somebody that plays into immaculate sure, sure. um there was a girl named isabel that jumped off off a roof to kill herself oh. and immaculate and it was the center of a bigger conspiracy and i was like wow this movie yeah. literally same character doing the same thing i was like okay i mean the guy who wrote immaculate is a big fan so, of this yeah. movie yeah. Wow. Right. doing okay. some or, or that's a story in there somewhere where this is well the spirit of destiny is pulling. like that's that is an actual oh yeah i'm, and I'm right but curious. the way it's used in both of these movies yeah. is right I'm, I'm always curious about that because i'm sure they've made i think they've made a couple yeah. documentaries about what people who've claimed to have found it between that and yeah, the, shroud, no, yeah. the, the artifact to... itself has been lore for yeah. Yeah. Since, Did richard since... stanley go looking for that at one point i think maybe he went looking for the spirit the holy grail, yeah, the, the, shroud. the shroud, all yeah. the the nails, like they 
they think that they may have found the nails. Yeah, at okay, some point. so like, the nails so are like a character in Immaculate. Yeah. <laughs> They're well, really important. Okay, you keep talking about I have to see this. I was like, movie. now I, I want to watch I think it's now worth I a watch. watch. I, it right. did some things I hadn't seen before. Okay. Okay. It's not right. good, but it did no, some. But it sounds interesting. It did which really, doesn't yeah. need to be good as long as yeah. it's it is. It is. It will provoke discussion. Yes. Right? So yeah. For sure. Um, so Constantine as a supernatural private eye is kind of how yep. it, he feels, right? Yeah. Yes. Has a team of, um, well, he has a team, right? Of other people. There's always these illusions that like in the past you were the John Constantine and we used to do things that shook the pillars of heaven, you know, kind of amongst his, uh, cronies. He's got yeah. Shia LaBeouf. Which in serves this movie. what purpose? That, that kid did not need to be in this movie. No. He's got. He's gone for long stretches of the yeah. movie. He's true, Chaz yeah. Kramer. I'm not sure if he's comic accurate. He might be a character in the comics, but he's basically a taxi driver who is an apprentice and is learning under yeah. the tutelage yes. of John Constantine. They literally, but when because they're they have like one scene together this whole movie. Like <laughs> they literally make note that he's like he's his Robin. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Basically, yeah. and this and, is pri- and what happens to Robin? Yeah, he nothing good. Well, I mean, Joker. he eventually dies. Um, there's uh. Beeman, I think his name was, Beeman, yep. who is Works the quartermaster, the mm-hmm. right? He's the cue for uh, Constantine's okay. James yep. Bond. He's That's the one. exactly yep. how I was going to put <laughs> yeah, it. Yep. What? What? Because there's that scene where he's like, "Okay, I have all this stuff." You remember what <laughs> the stuff? Because he, yeah. he had yeah. holy water in, yeah. in those little breakable balls in case he needed them. He had brought him cigarettes. Don't laugh at breakable balls. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> They're all breakable. Sorry. They're all breakable. It's very true. Uh, he had the holy water. He brought him a pack of cigarettes because he was out, or a carton of cigarettes because he was out. He brought him dragon fire in the very shoot. Dragon's yeah. breath. Dragon's yeah. breath. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah. In a little yeah. gun thing. I thought you couldn't get it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> See, I like that though. That kind of like allusion to. Oh no, I like that a too. Bigger occult right, world. Yeah. Yes. They do a lot in this movie, and that is part of i guess oh no that's what makes everything of interesting along yeah, the way yeah because there's mm-hmm. allusions to the the grander yeah, stuff and that's the like, shit oh. i love i like this like apothecary of like supernatural religious things like right. i think that's and, cool right and it leads i mean you kind of get a, a, a little gear up scene later on with stuff mm-hmm. like that yeah it just that's the fun stuff that's, he's love got that. the screech beetles from oh, amityville yeah, the screech beetle. i mm-hmm. love that he's like to you it's fine but to the dead it's <laughs> nails on a truck he literally just shake it <laughs> right and that's what he does he's like yeah who else is in his uh father hennessy mm-hmm uh, oh, okay, yeah. The yeah. Pruitt Taylor Vince. Yeah, who is that can, his like, name? I never. Who can? I never remember that actor's what? name. You don't remember the great? I remember it from Identity. Pruitt Taylor Vince, who we are <gasps> inducting <gasps> what? onto the Saturday Night Freak Show Wall of Fame. What? MF Mad, the keeper like of the Saturday Night Freak Show Wall of Fame, wants to remind us that um, did we not do Identity? We have not done it. Okay, we did do the Cell. We did we do did. the Cell, and he yes. was in the Cell, and he was also in Drive Angry. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, wonderful. But true, Pruitt Taylor Vince, yeah, he's like in a ton of ton of stuff. He's in a lot of stuff. Yeah. Shit, are we doing identity next week? Oh. <laughs> no. Yeah, he he's got a, a thing with his eyes. Yeah. I think that also kind of like you he's, remember. I don't remember yeah. what that condition is called, but they you know move back and forth a little bit, and he, like yeah, he yeah, has yeah. a very distinct uh, look. He does. Uh, he we are also inducting Tilda Swinton into no. the Yay. Saturday Night Freak Show Wall of Fame. Tilda Swinton. You know why? Mm. No. The no. beach. The beach. Okay. We did the beach. Okay. We did Constantine, and we did yes, the Grand Budapest Hotel. Oh, that's right. right. I, like, I always forget that's that. That's a wild card. Always. <laughs> I always forget that. We're gonna get Willem Dafoe into this wall because of that movie. <laughs> yeah. And the other one will be Antichrist, like the two opposite <laughs> ends of his career. <laughs> um. So, uh, Father Hensley, he's a he's a priest, but he also seems to have some kind of supernatural ability. Yeah. He's like a seer. He can read. People, things. Yeah. He can, if, if he allows yeah. it to happen, he can hear things, yeah. see things, find things. But apparently, it's 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 a lot for him because he wears an amulet that kind of drowns out the voices that he hears all the time. Right. And so the and then there's also I guess like Papa Midnight. Yep. And that's uh, Jiman Hansu. Right. Mm-hmm. And um, love him. Always a welcome presence. In yeah. Movies. Always good. I love him. 
every time I see him, I'm like, oh, hey. When I see hey, him. Hey, there you yeah. are. Yeah, I <laughs> love that guy. Hello, old friend. <laughs> he was the one of the best parts of Quiet Place Part 2. He oh, was. Yeah. yeah. I think he's he in the new one. He is in day one, right? Why are we still? We cool don't need to be doing. Much. You know who? Okay. I'm sorry. I have a problem with day one because <laughs> do you know who's directing that movie? No. The guy who wrote and directed Pig. Oh, really? One of the best movies of the past decade, and this is the where it launches him to a fucking quiet place mm-hmm. sequel. It could be real good. Oh, my, but I want original content from this guy because yeah. I've seen what he can write and direct yeah. on his own. Pig was incredible. Yeah, and this is, this is a step backwards. I feel like. Yeah, it's a guarantee that people will see his next thing. I suppose, but mm, it's yeah, not. Though. It's not. Yeah, I don't yeah. need another. I know. I'm like, like yeah. I'm not. I, lo- I loved the first one. The second one was okay. Right. I don't need anymore. Yeah. Right. I don't need anymore. I don't know. Oh, Pig, anymore. Pig being a first movie, and this incredible. is feels like a step down. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. But well, we mourn, we mourn his career. Yep, yeah. yep. It was Unless nice it actually breaks it. up. But, I yeah. mean, it's a step somewhere, which could lead to something else he really wants to do. But so. look at all these times with these major franchises. They've plucked some promising indie director yeah. from, that's done one movie and then give them a major franchise, and it usually shits the bed. Mm-hmm. Colin Trevorrow, just looking at you. Josh Always. Trank, looking at look, you. Always. Who's going to save Hollywood? Someone needs to step up <laughs> and fucking save Hollywood. Who's yeah. going to do it? Someone needs to. John Constantine, asshole. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fucking hell Someone maybe he'll to. maybe John Constantine will come back there's still a chance oh, um, we're, we're, Guillermo we're, del Toro we was going to do uh, Justice League Dark which would have had both Swamp, th- Swamp Thing and John Constantine I don't need that yeah. I don't that's not what I want <laughs> Papa Midnight the character yeah. I like this th- like that yeah. you have to he was like a witch doctor yeah, yeah. yeah. he's okay. voodoo or yeah. something like that cool. and he runs a it. club but the club is like where uh, Switzerland right or Sweden like yeah neutral in the ba- it's because like the there's supernatural neutral zone yeah. Yeah. there's a balance between heaven and hell right they yeah. can yeah. influence people but they can't actually uh, interact with them directly although yeah. apparently demons can possess people but whatever right just influence um, and so at this bar, they can co-mingle and we see, we can tell like the, the angels cause they have, um, like a, 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 a white light in their eyes yeah. and the, the, the demons have a red light or they're like half breeds or something yeah. or whatever. That's what, yeah. That's what he calls them. Not entirely breeds. clear. So there's yeah. like half breeds or sorry, demons and angels like kind of hooking up in, in the bar. Oh, um, half, half breeds. You asked about Michelle Monaghan. I did. Where was... She? Okay, why does she show up for two seconds? And yeah. what more of her part was cut out of this movie? Uh, two scenes, because okay. she is a half-breed demon that Constantine is sleeping with. There oh! it is. Oh, okay. I don't that remember in the comic, and like this one I actually remember, he had like this girlfriend who had like a tail, you know, <laughs> in bed, you know, he's sitting there with a the cigarette, and mm-hmm. there's this girl with a tail. Um, and I think, I don't know if they actually did that in scenes. I'm sure that there's deleted scenes on the disc that I watched years ago, but so she was cut from the movie, but she's in prominently at the very end of the movie. They show her and you're like, Hey, you're like, what's Michelle Monaghan doing? (laughs) Yeah. Um, on, so then there's, there's, uh, uh, the cast also includes, um, um, supernatural, these half breed characters or angels and demons. Mm -hmm. Tilda Swinton, as we mentioned, is, uh, Gabriel. Mm -hmm. Um, Gavin Rossdale. Yeah. Yeah. Lead singer of Bush. Is in this movie. That's right. No, he's not great. So you're talking about Keanu Reeves. He's bad. But Gavin Rossdale <laughs> didn't have an acting career. It did look, it didn't work. I know, but yeah. He right. did. Yeah. That's the They're difference. Like, no, he didn't really. I don't know. I if nothing shit. else, like that hand movement or whatever he did at the beginning of this really sunk him for me in this movie. I was like, oh, that's off putting. Yeah. Finger looking good. Yeah. yeah. Like, that's not good. Yeah. that. But <sighs> the, but also, that was not his, that wasn't him. That's the writing. I mean, like, yeah, he was true. He, he was directed. Yeah, he was directed. Maybe I can to do, do this. Like, yeah. yeah, I don't think he made a choice in that moment. <laughs> he is you Balthazar. He's a yes. demon. So, so the plot of this movie uh, kind of pits these two factions against mm-hmm. each other because yeah. there's, although it's there's, all, there's a there's a wager between God and the devil. Yeah, who can get more souls? Right. If you've ever watched yeah. Horror Express, which you know this. wasn't prophecy kind of that too. Yeah, prophecy was. Always been the they were, it's they always were the claiming same thing. the souls. Okay, they're yeah. tr- and they're trying. Well, I don't to know find... this stuff, so I don't know what's in think, what's movie and what's religion. There's always been that. Maybe the old joke is just like the bet between you know God and the yeah. devil about you know uh, the constant fight, who's going to win, and what you can do with people and all that. Yeah, that's how I've always remembered it. 
they played chess on a on a cosmic train if I space. remember correctly yeah. in space. In space. Yeah. Yeah. Um, That's the metaphor I like. Give me that one. <laughs> so That's the best one we've seen so far. Constantine's fr- well, so there's an investigation, there, right? Uh, Constantine meets up with Rachel Weiss's character and is trying to solve. She's like, my sister didn't kill herself. And all evidence seems to point to, yes, she did. Yep. And she is in hell. And so, but it's because she, like John Constantine, used to see visions of the afterlife when she was a kid and it drove her crazy. Mm-hmm. Yep. And so this means that she is some kind of psychic medium. Mm-hmm. And her twin sister also has this. There's also another subplot. Man, this is a complicated movie. Uh, John Constantine <laughs> committed suicide as a child because he saw all of this stuff, but was brought back to life. And so now he has spent his entire life trying to buy his way into heaven by deporting all the demon souls back to uh, hell, right? Mm-hmm. I would like, like a counter on how many he has to do before he gets his ticket. I know. To he's just like, how many? Well, he well, does say. Thing. He's just like, and someone's like, never. It's just like, it's not it's not going to happen. Or at least that's what he's being told. That's I, what Gabriel yeah. tells him. That's what Gabriel but tells him. But he's like, imagine going to a prison where 50% of the people are souls you put there. I'm like, yeah. Jesus, he's been, uh, been working. active. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> he also has cancer. He does. Yeah. Yeah. He's got lung, lung cancer. cancer. He smoked since he was the 15? point of this giving this trait to this character just to be like he doesn't give a fuck anymore it adds that yeah and it also has they figured out an ending i think Mm -hmm. based on on Mm -hmm. that it's like so your your character's terminally ill going into the movie Mm -hmm. how is he gonna you know save himself by the end of it or is he going to yeah Yeah. right well yeah will he what will what effect will this like he's on his way out what's he gonna do yeah does that change him once he learns that like is he you know uh more apt to just throw caution to the wind and does, he, he, does a, he sacrifice? He himself. has right. an attitude that's very um, assholeish and rude. Mm-hmm. Right. I suppose, he, it's right? Like he knows all this stuff exists, but he's not. Um, uh, he, he still is not what God wants him to be. He, you know, he doesn't believe, or there's no. Um, well, well the, she the, points out. Yeah, the yeah. interesting thing about this character is that he's very self-serving. Like he doesn't yes. give a shit about man or earth. He just wants to get his way into heaven. It's it's what I, I argue he is yeah. up until the very end still. But a loophole yeah. gets him out of it. But yeah, it's what I call Doctor House syndrome. It's <laughs> it's I'm so good at one specific thing. I don't have to be nice. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm yeah. so true. good at this one thing and so valuable for this one thing. I know right. what to do. I can gonna be an asshole. Yeah. yeah, exactly. It's only me. Yep. So you got to deal with it. <laughs> yeah, it was yeah, everywhere during this I time in media people like that. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Although he doesn't seem to have like the backing of the Catholic Church. It's always the Catholics, but because of the rituals and all that stuff. But I mean, he doesn't seem to have the legitimate backing of the church. Although he does, he does get into a church at one point to because that's where Gabriel hangs out. Yeah, mm-hmm. talking with the priest, right? Like they all know he's on their side, but he's like a rogue agent. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So that's his mission in the movie is basically to, he's dying, he wants to go to heaven because yep. he doesn't want to go to hell again. Yep. And uh, she wants to find, or she wants to somehow figure out what happened to her sister. Yep. And it's all leading to them figuring out that the balance is breaking down. Yeah. So what's going on? I guess. Demons what? are showing up on earth. Full-fledged demons when they shouldn't be. They're breaking the rules. Yeah. Yep. And why are they breaking the rules? I guess we're, we're zeroing toward the end. What's actually happening in this movie? Why do we need Rachel Vice? By the the four why do the the forces of evil need Rachel Vice? They're actually bringing forth the son of the devil. So, dun, yeah, dun, she needs dun. the birth of the son of the devil. Mm-hmm. Only we're not going to do like a pregnancy birth. No, no. She, no she, that's end of just, days. Just inhabit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. how are they going to pull this off? Because we there's a bunch of lore reading. We have to go mm-hmm. and figure this out yeah. like through you the need, course of the movie. Yeah, you need the the. The psychic or seer, or whatever you want to call her, which is Rachel Vice. Right. Okay. It was her and sister, but her, was sister her sister killed herself. So now it is. Now we've got the twins. twins. Yeah. yeah. So they have the same power, and we need the blood of Christ. Which is on the Spear of Destiny, which is making its way to Los Angeles. Yep. yep. Slowly but surely. And so this leads to a bunch of confrontations. Some of them are in the large budget range. There's mm. demon attacks on the street in the dark. There's uh, multiple trips to hell. Mm-hmm. There's mm-hmm. Um, battles with people who are made, uh, like street people who are made out of insects. Yeah, that was that gross. Was, and it didn't look good. No, that, that was the most transformery yeah, looking yeah. thing. Like, yeah, that was the worst mm-hmm. this movie looked. 
was that attack. It would have been made better had the thing asking him for a light was actually a crab. <laughs> that yeah. right? would have like been we were, so much better. And if if nothing else, just for a shot where where Constantine looks down at it and is just like, was that... Did you yeah. talk to me? And then gets attacked. And then like for attacking. a second, yeah, a he, we see second. the crab. And he's like, "What? That's what I." But why is this thing random bugs and crabs? What is this? Like, those are all like, like Prince uh, of Darkness. Locusts, it's just like, the uh, lower. Yeah, the but lower are crabs beings. involved in that? Crabs are not one of the plagues, <laughs> right? Where do crabs <laughs> fit into I don't think into you're this? right. They're I think bottom you're right. dwellers. Okay, yeah, they're just bottom dwellers. And, uh, and I suppose if you're in Los the Angeles, there's beaches nearby, and you're used to seeing. Crabs? You know, though, crabs are smarter than people give them credit for. Oh, I my was, God, I've seen that video of I, it grabbing the knife. I don't trust I'll, them. Yeah, I'll, I, I'll agree with that, but I still think they're in, uh, uh, influenceable. I watched a video the other day of a woman that had a pet crab, and she put little hats on it, and it, like, interacted with her in sign language. There the are. Fuck? I don't like that. Are, that makes on, me uncomfortable. If you go on Instagram, there are really smart crabs. There are really <laughs> smart crabs. There are. They, 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 it's <laughs> like Crazy they're, they're reacting yeah. like, man, you... And, you watch a video on Instagram, you put a lot into it, and I'm like, oh, it's doing this, or whatever. There's some fucking smart crabs out there. It's the I weirdest thing. It's weird. Are they in, in new sign language. I'm not kidding. Yeah, we're, we're, we're here to bring you crab Instagram, folks. <laughs> Look into it. It's Maybe it's a sign of the end times. We don't know. It could be. It's bananas. <laughs> you guys get crab videos. I get... I, I fucked up my algorithm really the algorithm. bad. I don't know what I did. But, I'll, I'll um, try and send you as many crab videos as I can. I need to, to re- counterbalance yeah, it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I get this account all the time called Look at My Lizard. And it's... <laughs> <laughs> Michaela, be careful. It's literally in a second. <laughs> it's this guy that has like 50 exotic lizards. And now today he'll be like, Sonny's enjoying his tree. And just like a picture of a lizard. On, and But every day it's like a different one because this guy has like a whole fucking zoo in his house. It's wild. And he'll be Love like it. scrubbing iguanas on the head like a dog oh, and yeah. stuff. It's crazy. Oh, yeah. And crazy. they're pulling out like they're shedding yeah, skin from yeah. their yeah, eyeballs yeah, yeah, and yeah. everything. Oh, yeah. 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 Lizards lead an interesting life. But they all life. look, Colin's they act like, like you little are dogs. All weird. Yeah. This is, uh, fa- no, it's fascinating. Yeah. Fascinating yeah. stuff. Yeah. yeah. It exists, yeah. Colin. It's out yeah. there. Oh, yeah. We get a lot of animal videos. Oh, yeah. a lot of animal yeah. videos. Look at my lizard. Check out. Yeah, we love some yeah. Anything yeah. with cute eyes, put it yeah. on my algorithm. <laughs> Melt your heart. <laughs> weird. Just all right, back weird. to John, the demon possession <laughs> John Constantine movie. Crabs. Um, Go ahead. Crabs. <laughs> Yeah, there's a fight with the crab. What else happens? Um, a fight with the crab. Eventually, uh, uh, Ra- him and Rachel Vice end up in a street where they get attacked by demons. This is where he lights his hand on yeah, fire. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Which is, I thought was a really cool scene. I liked that. I liked the light that was. It was cool, but like, what did it, I don't know? No I like, purpose, just so she would see that demons. <laughs> yeah, exist. I think there were a lot of uh, a lot of scenes that I was kind of like, wow, because they have a budget, they're doing stuff that you wouldn't like. You could convey this with a you know with a smaller scene. Yeah. Like there's a scene where she gets um, pulled through like a bunch of uh, oh, yeah. uh, uh, offices in a skyscraper, oh, yeah. and yeah. Out yeah. once they the... figure out that she's the one they're going after because she yeah, shares it was like that. how much did they spend on this? You know, just yeah. to pull this. You know, and you're like, did you really need that? Uh, you know, Look I got it. that a lot. That there was a lot of money spent, and I guess this is back in the time when Hollywood wouldn't spend a shitload of money on right? on these things. Now they don't. Now that now they. Now, that was, we now we have no. Now yeah. we have animated fight scenes. <laughs> yeah. In, in now Amazon everything's movies. on a green screen. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of green screen in this, I suppose. Right, but. but still, I mean, like he was in an office building for you know that part. She got pulled through some sets, and there's a lot of green screen, but still. Yeah. And it looked. I thought it looked pretty good. It looked fine. Looked yeah. good. I yeah, know. I mean, I, I guess the money was spent in the right areas. I think. Yeah, because there's a lot of, even in the end, I mean, uh, they do uh, enlist uh, Chaz eventually, comes into his own. I know he like disappears from the movie for yes, a while. he does. This is the Shia LaBeouf character. He's the comic relief, because I was thinking about that. Like, none of the other jokes be. really, <laughs> yeah. like, did much at no. all. There was that yeah. joke about the $200 shirt, you know, they ruined. I'm like, it felt like a, a joke that fell flat. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Like, LaBeouf, like it shouldn't have been at that part. Yeah, but LaBeouf is genuinely like funny, and then he uses that kind of energy in Transformers. What two yeah. years later? I mean, that was the thing. Um, yeah, he can be a general, uh, a genuinely funny person. And that's how he started actor. out. Yeah, yeah, that's what even Stevens was a kid's right, comedy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but mm-hmm. like, go watch like the Peanut Butter Falcon. He's really good in that. Yeah, yeah. I do so really like that movie. That's a really good movie. And <laughs> yeah. he's, despite you know what you may think of him and everything, he's done some really good stuff, and he can be a really good actor. So our heroine has been abducted by the forces of evil. <laughs> yep. Um, Balthazar, that's Gavin Rossdale, has been banished uh, in, a, in, a, in a one-on-one with uh, John Constantine because he's facilitated this on the uh, 
at the behalf of, it turns out, because I love that, uh, you know, I'm going to bring you into the light. I command you. Well, he has to force the tattoos on his arm I together. Like, yeah, yeah. And it's like yeah. taking a great amount of force to do it. And when he does, like the world changes and yeah. he actually brings Gabriel Nothing to. Nothing happens when I do that. I know. Uh, yeah, yeah, you got to match. What do you got there? Nothing we got, happens. You got Because mm-hmm. you haven't said, into the light I command you. You, know, you have to do that. <laughs> I do like What that. am I going to summon yeah. with a teacup? Well, we'll this find is what out. I was, I was wondering. Like, <laughs> it's, it's, flowers and a teacup. Flowers and a teacup. You're going to summon cats. I'm going to summon an old British you're gonna woman. Summon, <laughs> you're going to summon a casual time. I'm, I'm going to summon a tea party with a British woman. Oh, yeah, maybe that's the thing. Summon tea at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. But maybe it does have to be, you know, you oh, got to put your fists yeah, together. Obviously. Yeah, you got to do it like this. Yeah, yeah but see, there tattoos are on the wrong. That's why it doesn't work, Holly. Because it faces me You're doing it to yourself. You're like, tea time. I mean, yeah. There you, go. <laughs> you just turned so into an works. old British woman. It works for you, but nothing else. <laughs> um, so <laughs> we go over to Holly's house. She's Mrs. Doubtfire. Mm-hmm. And, they're like, <laughs> and we're like, oh, no. What Woo! happened? I do love a tea party. <laughs> I mean, tea party. Um, so uh, the, the Satan's kid is named Mammon. 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 And um, <laughs> and so he needs the aid of Gabriel, right? Because you need the assistance of God. He needs through- the aid of someone. Gabriel is just the one who's just like, I'll do it. Yeah, because Gabriel is basically, I like that speech. She's like, you know, men or, you know, humankind are the only creatures on all of the universes, galaxies or whatever that like you can fuck up and basically ask for forgiveness. You can go to heaven. Right. No I other get, creature has is a that good speech. Yeah. It was Nobody good. else, but man, and she, and it's Tilda Swinton. So she, she delivers it well, Yeah, which mm-hmm. is great. That's why you have her in there for stuff like this. She makes that stuff believable yeah, in a yeah. movie where we're, you know, we have big cross guns with gold bullets shooting. <laughs> and yeah. She makes it believable, which is nice. Yeah. She grounds it a little bit. And um, uh, so Rachel Vice is there. She's about to like. This, she is possessed. Is, yeah. Possessed by. She's gone Mammon. to hell and has been possessed by the, the uh, devil's Satan son, son. demon. Yes. And he's going to come out through her stomach. Yep. And Tilda Swinton is going to use the spear of destiny to. Stab her in the stomach, and that will release uh, Mammon into the world because she says, I'm going to make you earn uh, God's uh, love by basically making you suffer because that's when you're at your, you can be noble when you suffer. Right. Those yeah, of you who ones, survive. Yeah, those who survive this whole ordeal, you will have definitely earned God's love, and yep. then you can come up. But this is something that neither God nor the devil actually want, it turns out. So, uh, and uh, at this point, don't know about. Yep. Really. And uh, Constantine then make because he's been you know blown out to uh, Chaz is killed. Uh, Constantine's yep. blown into another room, and as he sits there trying to figure out what he's going to do, there's uh, or he asks for God he to asks help. Asks for him. help, yeah. He does, yeah. And nothing happens. God's like nah, because he you know he's he's being not uh, on good standing. He has and, been forsaken. Yeah. And so he he kills himself again. He does uh, <laughs> by slicing his wrists. And uh, we have been told earlier in the movie, I like that there was all setoffs and payoffs for a lot of stuff, but apparently Constantine's soul is the only one that Satan would come to Earth himself to collect. Mm-hmm. And so then- that is a great line to establish, like, to establish a character or to give some backstory <laughs> yeah. or some legend to a character. It's like, you know, Constantine, that's the only soul the devil would come to Earth to grab himself. Yeah. That's, yep. a, that's just a great <laughs> mythology for a character. Yeah. Feel good. That makes, that sets up a badass. <laughs> it does. Yeah. It and, does. And it sets up a devil who, I love this casting. The, yeah, this, this is pretty good. Um, how does so it's Peter Stormar? Yes, love um, it. I love it. Plays the devil. He came straight from the Russian space station. He <laughs> has a great like uh, um, introduction because it's like all this black shit falling <laughs> right. off of his feet. Apparently, it's he's like covering. Fla- yeah, for like a second there, I, I, for a second, I thought we found who was shitting in your garage. Kyle. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. That. <laughs> oh, I figured that out. Uh, that's a <laughs> yeah. story for later. Yep. Yeah. Um, and. Uh, but yeah, and he descends in the yeah. frame. He's wearing a white suit. Of course you know? he is. And um, I mean, how, they didn't really, there's no horns on him or anything. No, but no. there doesn't need, like, he, horns would be too much. Like, yeah. you can't, uh, this, these days, if you're going to personify the devil, putting the horns on him, uh, come on. You got to have a little more uh, subtlety than that, I would think. You only get the mm-hmm. horns when there's a situation where they, like, freak out and go full devil. Yeah. But no, he is in, he's white suit. 
Uh, he's barefoot again with a tar on his feet, yeah. but he's got around, his eyes are red. His lips are a little red, like they're sore and everything. Like it's a good makeup. There's job like to him. there's like neck tattoos peeking yeah, out. Yeah, mm-hmm. just little hints of no eyebrows. The devil. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. that's terrifying no matter what. It, so it's jarring. Um, I mean, in the, the pantheon of, of devils, movie devils, there's no Al Pacino. But who is? Yeah. So is, are we saying El Pacino is the because you don't, guys don't remember the witches of Eastwick and Jack Nicholson playing the devil, yeah? Right? Oh, I, I don't, don't remember. remember. That. No, I don't remember. Okay, it's pretty solid. And we had Viggo Mortensen mm-hmm. in the prophecy. that was really yeah. good. That was a good yeah. one. See, I'm, I really this like one's it. creepier. And I, and I thought, the prophecy, I like the um uh the fucking Passion of the Christ devil. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. creepy yeah. as hell. Oh yeah, it's creepy yeah. as hell. That's a good devil. That was a good oh, one. Let's let's not forget about uh, what was it? Uh, what Tim Curry who played Big Tim Curry in Legend? Yeah. Played Big, in Legend. And Legend. Big Devil. Yeah. He's darkness though, not oh, necessarily no, the devil. Yeah. You're right. You're right. Yeah. right. Um, I mean, this is the show Lucifer. Uh, well, isn't that just like a hot guy banging a bunch devil. of people? Basically, yeah. Right yeah. for moms on like NBC or something, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That was a, yeah. Yeah. The, yeah, they He's did a sexy devil where, where they yeah. went to a nudist camp and he was naked and everything. It's, did they yeah. really? Oh yeah, oh yeah, they did. Have you watched this show? I have watched so much of that show. Why? <laughs> My kid loved it. He got into I it. I have questions. It's like a, it was a was it NBC ABC? I think, I think it was like it was a Fox. Right, a Fox. It was right. a Fox show, and, and then he just kind of fell in love with it. And he's like, "Dad, let's watch Lucifer." I'm like, "Okay." So I have watched the last like four seasons of that okay. show. Wow. Kind of. I'm curious <laughs> what appeal what appeal it has to a, a child, but okay. Uh, um, pe- uh, uh, devil imagery, people getting killed. Okay, uh, okay. You know, just the, 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 the. I thought it was just him doing horny stuff. I didn't. I, there is some. Yeah. I mean, there is that. There's <laughs> definitely that. But there's also like the, there's um um. Uh, uh, battles of philosophy and stuff like that. They okay. do go over a lot of that stuff. So it's like of, supernatural, but he's basically. He's but there are a lot of more. characters okay. from uh, from a, a lot of religious characters that come in and they kind of explore the aspects. I can't believe we're talking about Lucifer. Right I'm. Now. I had no idea you <laughs> but, actually. Yeah, but no, I didn't but, know they, that. but yeah. they explore a lot of story for these characters and their okay. conflicts because they are on Earth and they fall in love with human people and they have to deal with those different aspects. Of okay. Like I, and there's a lot of angels, so it's like I'm an angel, this but is I'm also just in love supernatural. with a human who's okay. also having a baby, but also there's a fight for the the life of humanity and everything. It gets interesting in certain okay. part in certain parts. Not gonna lie, right. wow. I got drawn in. Wow. You wouldn't, think it, but no. you really have to like watch a few episodes to get like hooked into it. <laughs> okay, here's okay. your recommendation how, for how, Lucifer. Okay, apparently. so uh, huh. Lucifer versus uh, Peter Stormare. Oh, Peter Stormare. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, definitely. He's like he's top. You know, he's mm-hmm. uh, he's up there for me. Like he's, he's pretty good. He's, good he's creepy. He, yeah. It's very short and everything, but he's very good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's uh so this is the idea that like you know a Lucifer doesn't know that his son is in the next room and about yeah. to do this thing behind his back, and so Lucifer becomes a hero and saves the day. I think he did <laughs> in, the, in the prophecy also. Uh, yeah. The devil ends up saving the day, uh, but for his own reasons. Yes, for his own reasons, but. Um, which again, this is where we get to uh, Constantine doing things, which I still feel like for his own reasons, because he does. Oh, well, 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 Lucifer is like basically like, okay, what do you want? You know, okay, I did this, and you told me about it, so what do you want? No, yeah. and Constantine's like, I want her sister to go to heaven. Mm-hmm. I like, like how he's like, you. Okay, it's done. Yep, now you're coming with me, right? Yep. So that's the selfless act, I guess, right? That he has. Done. He's trading. Yes, he's like, he knows will, he's will going die. to hell. You can take my soul, but please send her. Yeah, there. Mm-hmm. she doesn't deserve to be down there. Good, well, good for him. Okay, and because of that, then God makes him a brick, and Lucifer <laughs> can't. Uh, but did Constantine know that this was going to happen? I don't think so. I don't think so either. Yeah, I, I think this was a selfless act, but. And then he's about to float off to the. the I do like he's, the, yeah, the nice version of Los he's, Angeles. He's dragging him away, <laughs> and he just gets heavier and heavier and sinks into the ground. And, and the like, light shines happening. on him. And he gets to flip off the devil. He does. He's like he's going to heaven. And this is like the second movie in which Keanu Reeves is Christ-like, going up into and dies and everything. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And he does. He gets to flip off the devil, which is great. One of those slow like. Oh, I'm going <laughs> <laughs> it's real fun. Um, and then the devil's like, Nah, you're gonna live. And fucking reaches into his lungs and pulls out all the cancer, which comes in the form of like a, a tar and everything, which yeah. is what it would be. And he's like, "No, you will live." Whoosh. Yeah, because you're going to basically prove that you belong in, yes. in hell. I'm going to let you he's give got, you a little more time. Right now, he's got the choice. Now it's up for grabs where he goes. Yeah. 
Which is, I mean, you know, uh, 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 if you're not going to heaven or hell, it's the best opportunity he's going to get. So. I know. So Constantine's a reborn man, and now he can... Uh, yep. Clean slate. Yep. Clean slate, clean lungs. He's not... Uh, there's a bunch of sexual tension between him and uh, and Rachel Weiss. Yep. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Always close to kissing, but he's just... He's always... Uh, it doesn't seem like he's interested. I mean, he is a little bit, but he's always reaching for something that's close yeah. by. Yeah. Like, it's more like he knows she's interested. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And he would like her to, you know, like, come around every now and again. Yeah. She's like, do I, do I have to take all my clothes off to get in the tub to be drowned? He thinks like, about it for too long. Thinking about it. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah. The uh, So, yeah, it's because he has missions, right? Although I don't know, really know what they are. He just basically says I have, uh, you know, things I have to clean up. Yep. And we're like, up. well, it, it's Constantine 2 and 3 yep. and 4 and 5. And- but what is our imagery that we are left with? Uh, As he we were switched. On the roof. He switched from smoking. He did. I do like how they 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 reveal this because they come up from behind him and he's he's hitting a pack of something. Yeah. As you would, any smoker recognizes that movement, and then circles around to him and he pops a piece of gum in, and then we're done. Yeah. So it's like ah, maybe he has changed. We'll see. In we'll Constantine see. two, I don't remember what the final line was, but it was it was disappointing. Yeah, whatever. The, I was yeah, like, no, no. that's what you came up with. Yeah, it was that a bad. Stupid. It was a bad line. Yeah, it was the like a Thomas voiceover. Jane's Punisher yeah. had a better VO line it, going for that. Yeah, but I wanted something better. No, yeah. the gum popping is the yeah, good. The gum is the good fine. part. The gum yeah. was fine. The they line is not left good. The it's like uh, it's this battle for good and evil. Some people don't like it. Yeah, some people don't like it. Some people don't like it. It's a bad line to end on. Yeah, it wasn't a good line. It was not a good line. But it ended. And that brought us to the end of Constantine, mm-hmm. but we are going to review it. We're going to tell you whether you should watch it, if you haven't already. Uh, but first, we're going to read some of your mail. And in order to do that, we're going to have to summon our mailman. His name is Igor. Bring us the mail. Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Why, thank you, Igor. What's it like in hell, Igor? <laughs> He's been there. He does kind of look like the little like ant demons a little bit, you know? <laughs> a little bit, yeah. It's like we built on top of that. We tried to <laughs> re-sculpt the head. <laughs> right, yeah, that's you it. Know? Yeah, yeah. we're just like, we, yeah. we can put this little, little gum. Little it just kind of slides like, off, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, just an eye slides yeah. off every now and again. Hell spit him out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, yeah. Can he come apart at will? Got, he's is still got like the, part sali- of his deal? the hell saliva on him. <laughs> that is what is, oh, that now we've decided what leaks out of him. It's hell saliva. Hell spit. Well, we should let the uh, right. pretty sure we should let the good folks at home know how they can participate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hell spit. Yeah. If oh, yeah. you want to participate on this interactive portion of our show, you can follow along on Facebook, Facebook dot com slash Saturday Night Freak Show or X at Sat Freak Show. You can email us directly Saturday Night Freak Show Yahoo dot com. Or you can follow along on Instagram or threads at Saturday Night Freak Show about tonight's movie. Constantine Simon Carter writes in and says. I really enjoyed this movie. The design of the hellscape and the creatures was really cool. Keanu does a decent job, and the choice of Peter Stormare as Satan was a genius move. Good move. Mm-hmm. Uh, Michael Whitaker says, as a comic book fan, I'm enraged at the lack <laughs> of comic accuracy, but goddamn if I didn't admit this was actually a pretty good movie in its own. In fact, it's because of this movie that I'm even a fan of the comic, which has become one of my favorite superheroes of all time. There you go. May I also recommend the Constantine TV series that came okay. out. It's actually better than the movie and more comic accurate, and it shows you how horribly underused this character actually is. He's the gold standard when it comes to paranormal investigators. And before you question it, John Constantine is a card-carrying member of the Justice League. He is, in fact, okay. a superhero. He knows uh, Batman. He okay. did, right? He knows Batman. Nelson Nascimento agrees that the TV series was great. Okay. All right. It went for, like, one season. One it? season, yeah. yeah, that was canceled. Uh, Jacob Laws says, even though Keanu is not blonde or British like his comic counterpart, I think he does a good job as an American John Constantine. The visuals are great, especially during his trip to hell, and Peter Stormare with his shaved eyebrows eyebrows, (laughs) eyebrows, makes for a scary Satan. I do think the plot is a bit dense with what Gabriel and Gwen Stefani's ex are plotting. (laughs) I forgot about that, yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, last week we watched a movie called Final Destination 2 and Deuce. Brad Boucher writes in and oh. says, I feel, I still feel nervous on the highway since I watched this movie in 2003. Yeah, we all do. Everyone, we all yes. do. So that's, that's 21 years of fear. Can't move on. Yep. 
Nope. Karate Warrior 2 says movies like this legitimately scare me. This is because of the Thanks. crash. Yeah, in, it's the final real destination. Yeah, they should. Stuff, yeah. Tony Bradshaw says the logging industry is still suffering from this, right? <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> real, real decline after this movie. Do you think they had boardroom meetings about being like, guys, this is bad. All right, How guys, do we, we need to really, yeah. really focus on our safety yeah. and our, our, you know, make sure your loads are strapped yeah. down. Make sure yeah. civilians oh, see PR. you t- touching your straps. This is brought up in some yeah, yeah. It's like, all right, we're going to show you a scene. Yeah. Somebody get the lights. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Mark Harrison says, oh, we were talking about... Um, Ali Larder or Ali yeah. Larder in the movie is protecting herself from death by locking herself yeah, in sense. a mental ward, mm-hmm. but surrounding herself I with really the. Wish she would have got strangled by the red string, but yeah, yeah. yeah. she has a red string board. Mark mm-hmm. Harrison says to me, "This is silly. She's not concerned about paper cuts." <laughs> you can I die. Mean, okay, the red string could fly off, and a thumbtack hits you in the throat, and right. boom! Right? Yeah. yeah, there is yeah. plenty in that room. Yeah, plenty. that's true. Plenty. Great point, Mark. Harrison. And Mark Thank also you. says uh, one of my ancestors died from an infected pop pimple. Is she oh, confident she has what? enough proactive? <laughs> proactive? Oh, proactive! <laughs> that took me back. <laughs> Who here used it? I did. I did. I yeah, did. I yeah. Saw, it melted I saw, your I face off. I saw off. every infomercial, yeah. but uh, it just burned the skin off your face. Uh, Send us that story. Oh, that's if fucking that is crazy. indeed true. Oh my gosh, that's, that's terrifying. Crazy. Now I have a new thing to be afraid of. Oof. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Travis Legler writes in and says, listening to you guys talk about movies from the 2000s was where almost every character is just an asshole for mm-hmm. no reason. Yep. Gave me flashbacks to seeing the Friday the 13th remake in theaters. Yep. The group of friends in the cold open, I could actually believe would hang out together and be friends. The second group, I didn't believe for a second these people would spend more than 30 seconds together. And I just wanted them dead. Yeah. I do miss good horror movies where you actually feel something when a character is taken away. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That one's, sure. yeah, again, mm-hmm. having re- recently watched it within the past year, it's not. Yeah. I think like for the Friday the 13th movie is always like my example of like just people being like, yeah. Unlikable, yeah, <laughs> for no fucking yeah. reason. I was credited it to the uh, writers, but it's probably because they were trying to make them better. It's a victims. moral choice, yeah. yeah, because you feel you're okay with them being killed. And yep. you're not you're not delighting in innocent people getting killed. They deserved it. They were assholes. So yeah, which is mm-hmm. kind of yeah. <laughs> um, uh, the week before we watched a movie called Messiah of Evil. Uh, Lamora fan 73 because oh. we talked about Oh, we have a like, Lamora fan. A Lamora fan said Radiance did a great job with the Messiah of Evil Blu ray. It sucks so much that Synapse is holding the 4K scan of Lamora, the child's <laughs> tale of the supernatural hostage, and will never release it. We talked about a movie uh, comparison High between those. Yeah, High Pike <laughs> is in that movie. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, thank you, each of you, for writing in. We really, really appreciate it. Yes, thank you for do. listening. Yes, thank, thank you, you very much. In. Uh, we encourage everybody else you can write in oh yeah everybody write yeah write something um and now we're gonna go around the table and tell you what we thought of constantine starting with holly mm. mm. what did you think about constantine uh it's not a perfect movie no. it's you know but I, I dug it i don't know like it's it's one of those movies where i'm like i don't really have a lot to say like either way like it's not a great movie but i enjoyed it um, but we all know that like the religious kind of movies are my jam anyway. I think they're fun. <laughs> yeah. For one reason or another to either hate I, it or to be like, Oh yeah, I think they're fun. Um, I, I like the mysticism. I like the lore. I like the, I, I like all the, the, um, artifacts and that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, Keanu Reeves is not a great actor, but this is nothing new to us. We know this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we, that, we know this. Is that it? We all just accepted it? And yeah. Moved like, on? we know. Just, Why do we accept it, he's though? He's not, like, a good, like, you don't, you don't believe him as John There's no Constantine? emotion. Like, he doesn't... Uh, he, yeah, um, he doesn't, he's never been lost in a role. Yeah, he doesn't emote. Uh, like, Neo is the same as John Constantine. Mm-hmm. It's no yes. different. Like, mm-hmm. he is just, he's just Keanu Reeves. I'm just watching Keanu Reeves. Yep. Um, but I'm not, like, offended. I like Keanu Reeves as a person, so I'm not, like, offended by it. Um, but yeah, I, I like this movie. I think it's a fun movie. It's, it, it's the, the effects are actually still pretty good. Pretty good. Considering it was, you know, 2005, we've come a long way. Mm-hmm. Um, it's not offensively bad in any way. Like, there was a few moments like the bugs that we were talking about was not good, yep. but like the hell scenes were actually pretty effective and it's creepy. There was a few like jump scare moments and I'm like, yeah, it was pretty good and yeah. decent. Um, so yeah, I think it's enjoyable. I don't think it would be for everyone, but there's way worse you could watch. So I think most people 
wouldn't be offended by watching this. So I'm going to recommend. Michaela, what'd you think? Uh, you know, this has a lot of things working against it for me. It's the it's the religious stuff, which I said on the prophecy episode. I feel like I have to do extra like mental work for these types of movies because I don't have enough knowledge about the religious like folklore yeah. to understand what's going to happen and what why certain people are significant and things like that. Mm. So um, I feel like I need like a remedial version of right, these you movies. Get lost in yeah. it, just like can somebody give me a short chart, yeah, just yeah. so I can catch up. Um, the I son need, of the devil's uh, not a thing. I, 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 no, they're just this is all right, right. But I need like a, I need like a red string board to know who's important important and why um and what their roles are but um and yeah Keanu Reeves I I don't have ill will towards him I just don't get it um and I like he has plenty of movies I like but this one I just it's hard for me to access this type of content um because it's a lot for me to buy into just to understand like the pieces we're playing with you know right um it's like it's like you guys are all like chess champions and i'm like learning how to play chess <laughs> in the same tournament you know like like wait but i don't even understand how this game works and you guys are all like experts but no, Michaela, like, that one can move diagonal yeah and i'm, just, I'm playing with checkers <laughs> rules in a chess tournament you know um but that's not really a, like a comment on the movie i do remember seeing trailers for this movie constantly on mtv yeah constantly yeah well okay so my sister and i came like a, like a household meme because there's that part in the trailer where she goes constantine and she like whispers it and they like they play that like three times in the trailer <laughs> so we would yeah. just walk around going like constantine like around the house <laughs> um i had no idea what this movie was about i think i confused it with legion for a long time mm. because i was like aren't these the same movie Ooh, right um but yeah, the religious like mythology horror is not really my thing, so I'm gonna pass on it. Uh, it I do feel like you do see the money on the screen because this must mm. have been really expensive CGI for the time. So I yeah, get right? a seventy like that slow mo scene where all the glass is going for how out, long? And, and it's for just, how and long? It, yeah, like it just ten tips minutes? Off him as yeah, he it. it's pretty really, solid. Yes. really good. It's that solid, yeah. that scene Surprising. actually kind of still holds up. Yeah, yeah. um, but like compare especially compared to like the bug demon thing, mm. right? Um, yeah. yeah. But yeah, and it's just like, I love that some animators really got to go crazy on that shit. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, I just, it, it's not for me. I didn't care for it. So I'm going to pass on it. Sean. Um, I think I agree with Holly on this one. Um, but yeah, I had, um, I had a good time with this. Um, again, I'm really, I was really surprised by it considering it came out in 2005. Um, they spent the money in the right places because I think the effects are still like, the effects still work for me. They work for the story. Let's put it that way. Um, if, if that may seem a little dated, but I think they work within the story. Uh, Keanu Reeves is not great, but he's Keanu Reeves. Again, I think we've all just accepted that, but yeah, I, again, like the, the, um, the kind of the story being of religion, the artifacts, there's some very interesting stuff. It brought up a lot of questions that we talked about tonight. Um, uh, you know, there's some fun stuff in this movie. Uh, yeah. I mean, you know, who doesn't want to see, uh, Gavin Rossdale get beat up with uh, with uh, uh, brass knuckles that have crosses on them. Yeah, religious, brass cool. knuckles. religious brass knuckles. Like, the, come on, come on. Um, but yeah, it's it's. I think it's if still that a good wasn't movie. like a if that wasn't symbolic for the Catholic Church and the papacy, like I don't right. know what is. Right. Um. Uh, yeah, it's not a movie I'm going to go back to a lot, but you know, it's been well, probably ten years since I've seen it. A refresher after ten years, like still good. Uh, I'd still recommend it. You guys watch it. I think there's uh, there's a lot of good stuff in here. Um, I think the cast really helps this mm -hmm. movie. We got, I mean, like we said, Tilda Swinton, um, Rachel Weisz is doing good. Peter Stormare. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think there's some there's a lot of good stuff in this movie. I'll recommend it to you. Uh, watch Constantine. I'm I'm surprised I'm recommending it. Um, not that I had bad feelings about it before, but I didn't know how it was going to hold up now, mm -hmm. and it still does. So yeah, Constantine. I recommend it. Colin. I um. <laughs> I suppose I'm trying to think if there's something else that is like the epitome of this era, maybe in comic books, maybe movies, but the idea of like the supernatural detective, uh, I like, I, I maybe personally, I like it because it's checking a bunch of boxes. It's you really uh, liked angel, didn't you? The TV show. Yeah. I did actually. Yeah, yeah I liked it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I get it. Yeah, because it had like a similar. Yeah, because it has like, um, there's like a film noir vibe. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's true, but you know what I mean? It's like that yeah, gritty yeah. post seven uh, landscape of Los Angeles, the grimy, dark, you know. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's fighting the underbelly. It is. Yes. It's yeah. pretty slick in this, but I get what you're saying. 
there's the private detective, but he's an occult detective. And oh. so he's, you know, going after a religious, uh, you know, mystery. Um, then there's, it's like, there, so there's a horror aspect aspect mm-hmm. to yep. it. I mean, even though it's like focused on, I don't know if they're big action scenes. So there's big set pieces that you would expect yeah. from a big budget uh, movie. Um, and then uh, this, I guess the thing that to me is the most attractive about it is like these little lore drops, like the whole mm-hmm. way through. It's like they're always kind of in, you know, dropping like, you know, this thing came from this and it does this, uh, yeah. you know, yeah. you have this history. It's like there is a movie that took place before this that is interesting that I not that I want to see a prequel, but <laughs> that kind of it feels like they f- there is a world that's alluded to that happened before this particular story yeah. took place. And so, you know, all that like, you know, he goes to Papa Midnight to use the chair, you know, mm-hmm. and like. <laughs> Nobody uses the chair that, you know, breaks the balance. And then when yeah. he gets to the, the chair, it's like, a, it, you know, it's like from Sing Sing. Yeah, it ha- the like electric 200, chair from Sing Sing. Yeah, yeah. 200 <laughs> souls packed through this. You're like, you're, fi- you're finding all this out. And then he's like, which way is east? And he points and they're like, why does it have to face east? I don't know, but it's it's cool. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like right. it's there's a this ritual that- to like how all this stuff Flavor. has to take place that I guess I dig about it. Because the actual script itself is not the not all that great there was a scene that i sat there and i'm like this has to be like the hardest thing for actors to do and it was uh keanu reeves had rachel vice in a uh, i think it was in the hospital room where it's like you know tell me what you think angela tell me what you what would she do you know oh, yeah. and you're just like wow this is one of those like generic uh mm-hmm. like acting scenes that it feels like they do in uh like acting classes yeah. it's yep. edited well it's executed well but you're like what's really happening here we have to force her to somehow come up with a memory that's going to unlock the next part of this movie right. how are we going to do it we're <laughs> just going to yell at each other and through the I'm magic traumatize of, her until yeah. she fucking remembers yeah yeah i mean it was really like okay guys you're not really trying very hard here on the scripting level but you know, so it's a mixed bag, but I think uh, if the things I've just described to you appeal to you, it's like a, a comic book horror occult detective movie uh, and the devil shows up at, at <laughs> yeah, the end. The and it's got devil. cool, you know, uh, 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 like James Bond uh, yeah. characters uh, surrounding it. So well, cause there's, like the whole like holy war thing, it's it's like a, it's a genre of fantasy. Yeah, that yeah. I, I, really that I yeah. love like. That's the thing. Like, we, I don't believe in this bullshit, right. but it's it's a genre of fantasy that appeals to me. Yeah, yeah. that's good. Yeah. It's got that kind it. of yeah. dark. And did it all come from like? Well, I know obviously this predated Spawn, but Spawn would be like <laughs> the other one of that era that you know where mm-hmm. comic books just seem to be going like Witchblade and yeah, the yeah. darkness and you yeah. know all that kind of stuff. Uh, I would recommend Constantine. You you check it out. All right, uh, next week we're gonna watch a movie that's chosen by John. What are we watching next week? Do you know? I do. What are we? Oh, oh no! I feel like you're about to punish us. I don't like it. Oh, I don't like this face. You've got, <laughs> you've got Grinch face. He's like, I have to do this. Why do you have Grinch I face? I don't have feel to. Good about it. Uh, we're gonna be watching Paul Verhoeven's Hollow Man. Oh I boy! Hate all right, you. yeah, yeah. That's, yep. that's what I thought. Okay, was all right. I hate you. I think we got to do it. <laughs> do we? I think we don't have to point. do anything. I think it had to come at some point. The beauty of the show is that we get to pick. That's the <laughs> yeah. point. That's the whole thing. Well, this think, is the invisible man. It's for, the invisible yeah. man. Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> Well, yeah, gonna, I, if nothing else, we're going to have a good I discussion. I am curious as to why you guys hate it so much, but wait, don't tell me. Oh, You're yeah, going to have to tune it. in next week to I find out I, was, I can't believe that's even a question of why we would hate it yeah if you've seen the movie you there's know lots why. to hate you know why oh interesting and we'll get into that uh, next on week. Uh, next week's episode we hope you'll join us and it's and fine it, if you hate us <laughs> and until then this is some high standard that I love this is gonna be a rage episode yeah. oh boy <laughs> Good. All right. somebody else will rage but me <laughs> <laughs> okay well that's next week on the Saturday Night Freak Show we hope you'll join us and until then ladies and germs the basement is going dark <laughs>